Welcome to Mraz Family Farms. This is an alley cropping system. We have avocados at 28 feet per avocado tree and coffee at six foot spacing. They like to be in this very intense environment of the intercropping that we're talking about today. One of the things that is tri tricky with interplanting a new crop into an old crop is we had an avocado irrigation system everywhere in the grove, but it wasn't sufficient to double the number of plants. So we actually put a parallel system right through, through the center so we can control both very independently. Yeah. So that gave us the capacity also though to really care for the coffee trees you know exactly rather than watering both at the same time we watered one or the other so one of the things that we've learned about the coffee is that they're very similar to the avocados they have surface feeding roots but they need a much lower volume of water because they're a smaller plant right so we water them almost the same way right on the surface with a micro sprinkler and then we use the water sensors to tell us when we filled up the water profile this is a data logger that uh, reports via cellular signal and it has uh, four different sensors in the ground that it reports. So we want that top six inches that the avocados like is also where the coffee does most of its feeding. So we want to make sure we have 12 inches of water, but we also test down at 18 inches to see, oh, okay, we've, we've put plenty of water in. We don't need to go further. Coffee and avocados both don't really like the, the heavy salts of our water. So we can treat the water to reduce the salts, makes them a little happier. We run it through our reverse osmosis system to remove salt. These tanks are used as part of that filtration system. And then um, these tanks are for the brine that we have left over that then gets trucked off site. Our overall water is, is less than, it, than we expected because we thought we'd have to have twice as much water. But it's really almost exactly the same as we did when we had a monoculture because the water is not contained to the individual tree. It's, it's spreading out in the soil and both are benefiting from it. This is one of my favorite things, the dosatron. When, when we go to inject, they have the barrel there. We mix a concentrate put the barrel under it, drop the hose in the barrel, and this can be set to apply different proportions of that concentrate, and we can feed every one of the blocks on the farm. The coffee and avocados both are acid-loving chemistry, and they love the same things. Right now we're using a, a concentrated fertilizer, and it's a 413. And so we use that concentrate, then we have our mixing barrels. We probably put five gallons of concentrate in a mixing barrel with 50 gallons of water to make a 10% solution and then um, that is flooded through the irrigation system. Managing competition for nutrients is slightly different. We're being abundant with our feeding of nutrients. We did here a parallel irrigation system. We feed the avocado trees at a level that's sufficient to, to give them enough food and then we feed the coffee at a level that's sufficient but it can get a little tricky if we have plants in two different systems. So what I mean by that is avocados and coffee are both acid-based systems. They both love acid. So coffee, green tea is another acid one. Blueberries are another acid one. So where I have it at my home farm, I have the deciduous trees that are not acid-based in their own area and we feed them with a slightly different nutrient mixture that is, does, doesn't have the extra acid compounds in it. We're very interested in the association of the root systems. How do the avocado and the coffee roots grow into each other? Are they antagonistic or are they complementary? And so far we're finding that they create a web or mat of roots and they, they work side by side. I would say we're not losing any nutrients on this property and that Pretty much all that we put down now is going right to roots. When you look at these trees, it doesn't seem like it's causing growing problems. Mm -hmm. It's actually helping them. And that's what we're after, is we're after 
how can we grow crops that can be more self-sustaining rather than you know requiring constant you know infusions of of chemicals and and things